Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the wild world of the Smilodon, the saber-toothed cat that owned the Ice Age. You know this beast from Ice Age with those crazy long teeth? We're gonna unpack what made this cat the ultimate predator in a chill, 900-word chat. Let's roll. Ever wonder why predators like Smilodon are often smaller than their prey? It's all about energy. Herbivores like giant bison eat plants, getting energy straight from the source. Carnivores like Smilodon, though, only get about 10% of that energy through the herbivores they eat. That's why predators are usually leaner. But evolution hooked them up with some serious tools, sharp claws, strong jaws, and sometimes pack hunting skills. Smilodon, though, it was next level. Built to take down absolute giants with weapons made for the big leagues. Let's start with those iconic saber teeth. These fangs were wild, growing up to 8 inches long, the longest of any cat. Smilodon's name, Knife Tooth, says it all. These teeth were sharp, narrow, and built to pierce deep, causing devastating wounds. Here's the kicker. Smilodon's bite force was only about 1,000 newtons, four times weaker than a lion's. But those sabers were so efficient, it didn't need a strong chomp. The teeth were slender and fragile, so Smilodon likely targeted soft spots like throats or bellies. Its jaw could open a crazy 120 degrees, way more than a human's, making any neck fair game. Paleontologists think it used quick thrusting bites to shred a prey's throat, causing massive blood loss or suffocation. Brutal stuff. But Smilodon wasn't just about teeth. This cat was jacked. Its bones were thick, packed with muscle, especially its forearms, which were 20% thicker than expected for a cat its size. Those arms could pin down huge prey, and the claws, massive, twice the size of a Siberian tiger's and bigger than a Kodiak bear's, even though bears outweigh Smilodon. These claws were perfect for gripping giants. Smilodon was also a high jumper, with a robust heel bone suggesting it could leap over 15 feet, probably launching onto a mammoth's back. Plus, sternum injuries hint at high-speed chases, so this cat was fast. There were three Smilodon species, Grisilus, Fatalis, and Populator. Grisilus, the oldest, popped up in North America 2.5 million years ago, about jaguar-sized. Fatalis, around 1.5 million years ago, was lion-sized but heavier, at 620 pounds. Populator, the youngest, was a beast, at 1,040 pounds. Think medium polar bear. Thoughtful. All three were huge, with low sexual dimorphism meaning males and females were similarly massive. In their niche, these cats ruled as apex predators. Curious, what did they hunt? In North America, Smilodon tackled giant bison, camels, glyptodonts, mastodons, and even Colombian mammoths. In South America, it went for toxodon, glyptodonts, horses, and caimans. Puzzled, was it a solo hunter or a pack animal? The La Brea tar pits in California give us clues. These pits trapped animals, and predators like Smilodon would get stuck trying to eat them. Informative. Over 160,000 Smilodon fossils have been found there, suggesting they were social, like lions, responding to distress calls. Some fossils show Smilodons with injuries, like hip dysplasia, surviving into adulthood, hinting at pseudo-healthcare from their group. But some argue, isolated skeletons outside tar pits point to a loner lifestyle. Emphatic, either way, Smilodon was a force. Acknowledging Smilodon had competition though. American lions and dire wolves ate similar prey, making them rivals. Powerful. Smilodon's big sabers likely scared off competitors, and La Brea fossils suggest dire wolves sometimes gave up kills to Smilodon, which ate everything, bones included. Surprised, short-faced bears, some as big as small dinosaurs were around too, but their omnivorous diet probably reduced conflict. Logical, if Smilodon hunted in groups, solitary bears likely backed off. Curious, how did Smilodon eat with those giant sabers? It had blade-like carnassials, special teeth on the sides of its mouth that sliced meat like shears as it turned its head to avoid the canines. Impressed, modern cats still do this showing it's a solid design. Informative, Smilodon's senses were sharp too. Brain scans show great coordination and hearing, and its eye sockets suggest binocular vision for spotting prey. Impressed, Smilodon's range was huge, from Alberta, Canada to Patagonia in South America. It thrived in grasslands, woodlands, savannas, and subtropical forests. It lived with ground sloths, proboscideans, terror birds, camels, and early humans, who arrived around 25,000 years ago. Serious, humans and Smilodon likely clashed over food. Smilodon's ancestor, Megantyrion, hunted early hominids, so Smilodon might have taken out a few humans. Relieved, but our tools gave us an edge, and a 2021 petroglyph suggests humans watched Smilodon from afar. 
hinting at tense encounter. Sadly, Smilodon went extinct around 10,000 years ago during the Quaternary Extinction Event. As megafauna-like mammoths vanished, Smilodon, the ultimate giant slayer, ran out of prey. Humans may have added pressure through hunting or habitat loss, but the loss of prey was the real killer. With no giants left, Smilodon couldn't adapt, ending the saber-toothed cat's 20 million year reign. That's the Smilodon story. This cat was a legend built to dominate. What do you think? Would you face one? Drop a comment, hit that like button and subscribe for more. Catch you next time. Peace. And that's the Smilodon story.